here in terms of water pollution, of course, you can see frac fluid is left at a depth of 7,000 feet or greater. And uh, we see the water table up near the surface. And somehow or another, frac fluid has to get up to the water table. And uh, in fact, the only possible way of doing this right now is through engineered pathways to groundwater. Um, this is below where there are natural pathways to groundwater. At least this is what people presume. And even if there are discovered natural pathways to the groundwater table from down below, you know what has to happen? A miracle has to happen. Water has to flow uphill, and water simply does not flow uphill. So true. in reality, then, um, what is going on right in here is that the stuff that's put down below, in fact, is, is in a sense, is a genie in a bottle. It's, uh, it's captured in place and, in fact, held there. And uh, this is not what's happening right here. So, oh, thanks for question here. Uh, in the back, Commissioner Letts. I don't want to split hairs, but I need to have an answer to this question, sir. I believe at some point in your presentation, you said that water does not flow uphill. And I agree with you in theory, but it's not a perfect world. We have things like artesian wells, and we have things like uh, coal mines, many of them bootleg mines throughout Pennsylvania, that can change the direction of flow of water. So uh, I guess what I'm getting at is, if a fracture from Marsalis would get into this water, I can understand how our wells and water supplies could become contaminated. I'm also aware that a lot of the inspections have been taken from our local conservation districts and uh, placed with DEP, and they are shorthanded. That being said, uh, I believe you also said that the public, the um, private wells of individuals are being tested. But are the wells where the fracking is taking place being tested prior to the actual withdrawal of Marsalis? I guess what I'm saying is clean water is very near and dear to me, and I want to make sure, not just for the citizens of Lebanon County, but for the citizens of this Commonwealth, that our water supply, because we share the Makchank Aquifer, is not going to be contaminated in perpetuity for our children as well and our grandchildren. Can you put my mind at ease on these concerns? Yes, thank you very much. That, that, the first part of that question was, was incredibly insightful. In fact, is this is the woman that you want as the science advisor because of the caliber of that particular question on your, on your staff. Is she employable right now? Can you hire her? I see over you. All right, now let me answer the question in, in, in reverse order then. I, um, you know, I will remind you that, that uh, when President Obama became President of the United States, uh, who did he appoint as Secretary of State? Hillary Clinton? No, that's right. And you can say the same thing of Hillary relative to Barack Obama. So that doesn't basically... I understand. Completely the possibility. All right, two questions. One of which is, the, the gentleman in the orange shirt here asked that same question about testing. And the state right now, uh, or at least the people of the state, are going to the point where water is tested ahead of time to protect both the uh, well owners as well as the drillers, the gas companies and whatnot. And, and uh, uh, unfortunately, this was not done prior to Cabot going into the Demick area. And that caused all sorts of headaches because there was a lot of finger pointing back and forth and no one really has a baseline record. Now we're collecting that baseline record. And it is, it's, it's important actually that both the uh, well owner and the operator hire independent people, independent of one another. So two different companies making two different measurements to establish that baseline. And neither uh, then has a conflict of interest in doing this. All right, that's that's that was the easy part of it. Now the really insightful part of this is that uh, you understand what artesian flow is. 
Artesian flow is a hydrodynamic flow where water, for example, can fall as rain in the mountains and seep down into the water table, go down like this, and then come back up in the valleys. In fact, as there are a lot of stream valleys right now in the summertime that continue to flow, largely because artesian water comes up into the stream valleys to keep them wet. If not, the streams would go completely dry in the summertime. So, what you want to imagine then is, is groundwater going into the water table and down like this, and then back up. Well, mainly, that artesian flow is restricted to the depth of the water table itself, which in Pennsylvania does not exceed more than about a thousand feet. In fact, is that top layer of fresh water remains fresh largely because of that type of artesian flow on time scales of tens of thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years. Now, it is also true that over much longer periods of time, and here we're talking about tens of millions of years, if mountains could exist for that length of time, what you would find is that groundwater would flow down to the depth of the Marcellus and then back up by the same process. So here I'm right now, I've written a, a comment to Nature, which is the world's premier science journal, and uh, this is a comment, uh, should there be a global moratorium on fracturing? or fracking, as, as they call it in, in science, and I've, I've, I, I'm handling the counterpoint, which is that no, um, economic collapse is a far more immediate problem than any environmental things that might happen. Now, if we then uh, look at that, that article, which will be published on the 15th of this, uh, this month, 15 days from now, what I say is that on time scales that matter, the flow of the type I described from mountains down into the Marcellus and back up, let's say, here in Lebanon County, uh, is too long. It's a time scale that's irrelevant. And so on the time scale that really matters to you, your children, and your grandchildren, on through the millennia, uh, the flow that really concerns you is a flow to the depth, let's say, of uh, a thousand feet if that, and what that really means is the source of rainwater that in terms of time scales that are relevant is rainwater that might fall on Blue Mountain north of here and come up several miles, but certainly not the water that falls up in uh, Bradford County. Now the same is true if you're a resident of Bradford County, which is the circulation pattern for artesian flow is restricted to a thousand feet probably much less than that over time scales that are really relevant, 100 feet or so. But at any rate, that, that was a very good question, and uh, you deserve a gold star. I'll give you an A in my notebook. Whoever, who's that, who has the notebook, anyway? Where, where is it? This gentleman down here will give, what is your name? Carl. No, no, the woman that asked the question. Her name is Joelle Yeah, give her a star, because that was a great question. Senator. Oh, next question. 